And by the way, I, it's my birthday today, and they can actually sing birthday music. I just want you to know it's difficult turning 60. <laughs> difficult. <laughs> <laughs> That, that, of course, President Biden joking today about his birthday. The president turns 81. It's a new record in presidential history, as President Biden is the oldest U.S. president ever to serve. Chris, there are, and hello to you all, uh, private celebrations for the president this weekend. Nothing really public except that off-the-cuff remark, and that's not coincidental. No, you know, look, uh, Joe Biden's biggest problem is his age. It's not the economy, it's not Israel, it's not, uh, those are all factors, no doubt. But if Joe Biden were not so elderly, uh, it wouldn't be a factor. He's not just the oldest president to ever serve. He's older than the former presidents, right? He's right. older than Bill Clinton. He's older than George W. Bush. He's older than Donald Trump. Right. Uh, and he shows it. And it's a pro it's a serious problem. I think he's the third oldest president anywhere in the world right now, Bob. Listen, uh, yeah, I totally agree with Chris. I, I, I think, as David Axelrod has said, age goes only in one direction. You can't, unless you're Benjamin Button, you can't turn it around. Right. So, this is a problem. The polls show this. That's why a lot of Democrats want someone other than Biden. But honestly, it's too late. Chris has broken this down before. Deadlines are deadlines, and Biden's going to be on the ticket. And I, I just don't see another way that I mean, Democrats may not be happy with him, but that's what they got. Amisha Ford, uh, the White House, asked about it today. Here was Corrine Jean-Pierre. We'll get your reaction on the other side. Our perspective is that it's not about age. It's about the president's experience. That's what we believe. And it's, you know, as they say, the proof is in the pudding, right? Does that play? Uh, absolutely. With each birthday, all of us get a year older than we were the year before. Um, almost four years ago, President Biden was almost four years younger than he is today, as was all of us who were around four years ago. We knew how old he was when we elected him the first time. We know how old he is this go-round. I think that the proof is going to be in the pudding, basically around his policies and his policy agenda. The president has a record to run on. He's got the infrastructure uh, development package. He's got the CHIPS Act. He's got reducing the cost of prescription drugs, particularly insulin. We just heard before this segment of conversation conversation about the use of things like Ozempic for people who are diabetic pa diabetes patients. Those are real wins. And this president knows that when he is out on the campaign trail and he's speaking to young people, he's speaking to black voters, he's speaking to the Democratic base, he knows the tone and the tempo to have with those people. So happy birthday to him. I hope that it's a great one. Also acknowledge that a lot of public events probably aren't happening because Thanksgiving is just around the corner. Joe Biden is not a fine wine, and he ain't getting any better with age. Let's be totally honest. When, we t when they talk about experience and wisdom, you're talking about getting America into two wars. You're talking about record high inflation. All those policies that you're talking about experience are not policies that are selling with the American people. And it's not just his age. It's his ability and his agility. He falls down. He has to take the short steps up to Air Force One. And frankly, he understands it's the only thing you can't spin. Are you instigating that President Biden got us into the war in Israel? Which wars are you speaking of? Because I'm talking speaking about the Israel, two. I'm talking, talking about the two wars, wars that America's currently engaged in that aren't using U.S. troops that are killing. It's a real fracture within your party when we're talking about President Biden Israel. had absolutely nothing to do with well, Hamas. Guess what? He is the, he's the commander in chief, and right now it's dividing your party. All right. Thank you for watching, and make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.